Corey. I've got to say, okay. I want a picture, Miss. There's no picture. Okay. Is this a young lady? Your wife's name is Correspondent, Mr. Gordon? Would you get out of my way? I'll be trying to be here, Mrs. Brown, will you? Sit tight. It's a disturbance, isn't it? Not yet, it is. Well, you asked me to stop. Keep an eye on things. I know the guy with the doll, Leslie Gorman. He's a lawyer. Lawyers don't go in for street fights. Now it's a disturbance. Come on, folks, move on, please. Let's move on, folks. That's a hundred and fifty dollar camera. Police officer, you're creating a disturbance. He broke my camera. You want to see my press on a pilot charge? I'm entitled to be here, Mr. Gorman. You, you're not entitled to nothing. He broke the camera, didn't he? Look, we don't need you, fellas. There's All no right, nothing. What are you talking about? He broke the camera, didn't he? Come on, move along. Don't push me around, officer. I've had enough pushing around for one evening, thank you. Everybody's pushing you, Leslie. You're the original little market basket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I happen to be an attorney, and I'm not particularly impressed by the cops. Well, what are you going to do about the camera, Gorman? All right, there. Go on. Go buy yourself a new box. Here, get a parking lot of your own, will you? Oh, sorry, officer. Here you go. Now, get out of my way. You don't want to pull a stunt like that. I can afford it. Gorman, take your money back. What's the matter? It's not enough, huh? All right, here, take that. We'll get lost with you, Sonny. Come on. Gorman! You're under arrest. Let's go. I said you're under arrest. Oh, you ought to have your little mind. Sergeant, I know you and you know me. Will you tell this fool he's not taking me in tonight? Not me! If he tries it, I'll break him. The charge is attempted bribery. That's it? In further support of his complaint, Mr. Gorman has forwarded X-ray film showing a serious back condition, which was a But he faked it. He didn't hurt himself at all. Officer, this man is a former hockey player with a history of treatment by reputable physicians. Now, do you know for a fact that he doesn't have a pre-existing back condition? Look, Mr. Fisher. Briggs. Just take it easy and let Mr. Fisher finish. A serious back condition which was allegedly aggravated when Detective James Briggs allegedly knocked him down. I didn't knock him down. All I did was push you just to get him off You used to an man who happened to step on your foot? Mr. Fisher, he deliberately stamped his foot into my instep. It's an old judo trick. It can cripple a man. And if he's sneaky enough, nobody can see him. You misunderstand me, sir. I'm not prosecuting your son at the moment. I'm just the assistant DA on whose desk the DA happened to drop this memo. Sergeant, do you have anything to add? Not at the moment. Well, the DA wants an official hearing as soon as possible. Friday morning all right with you, Captain? This Friday? 
The complainant has no objection. Sure. Why should Gorman object? He's got that girl for a witness. He's got his case already made out. When do we make out ours? Well, this is Monday. That gives you three whole days. Now, surely that's enough time for you to be able to get a few facts together and build a case at... Officer Briggs, as a lawyer myself, I want you to know that I think Leslie Gorman is a... Well, he's one of a kind. A disgrace to my profession. I'm just sorry that you had to run up against him. I'm really very sorry. Jim, effective immediately, you're assigned to clerical duty in division headquarters. You mean you're taking me off my job even before I've had a hearing? I mean, when you've got a charge of brutality hanging over you, I can't let you go out on the streets where there's a chance of you getting mixed up in another one. That's all. Sam, what do you think? What do you think he thinks? He thinks it's bad. Well, I wonder, you know. I wonder what person in his right mind would believe that a, that a man could be kicked off the force over something as small as this. It was less than small. It was nothing till you made the arrest. Jim, I've told you, a policeman's not like anybody else. Those streets out there aren't paved for us. That's not concrete under your feet. It's quicksand. One step and you'll drown. There's always a Gorman or somebody like him. Dad, I didn't want to make a case. I tried everything I could to keep it smooth. But there were people out there watching Gorman stuff bills in my pocket. I was afraid that if I backed down, that, that that wise guy would say that I accepted his money. I had to collar him. Yeah, well, maybe you had to do it to protect yourself. I guess it makes me feel better. Anyway, you can depend on your old man to do something for you. You can depend on Sam, too, right? Like what? Well, Sam, you were right there. I was on the other side of the car. I can't testify to what I didn't see, to what nobody saw. Wait a minute, Sam. If anybody has a beef, it's not you, it's me. My boy's your partner. Why did you let him get into this? I told him about Gorman. I told him to sit tight. But Sam, it doesn't make any sense if Gorman make this kind of trouble for Jim. You know what kind of a guy Gorman is. Besides, he's in the middle of a divorce, and here comes this nice, shiny, bright detective up and starts to take over. How would you like it? Jim, we're just going by the book. The book's not enough, Dan. You got to move with all kinds, germs and crooks, honest fools and big brains like Gorman. The book can't tell you how. A good cop has just got to know. My boy is still your partner, Sam. Get richer. That's right. All right, what do you want, Sergeant? I thought maybe I might persuade you to drop the brutality charge against my partner. Well, now, don't tell me that poor little boy's innocent. I never tell people what they already know. It's just that if you try to get uh, Jim Briggs kicked off the force, you'll have to perjure yourself. Well, if that's true, I know that, don't I? Right. But what you don't know is that if you commit this perjury, I'll prove it on you. You? Me. Not some green rookie. Me, with 20 years of making cases, and, Counselor, my cases stick. 
I give you my word. I'll make this one on you. I'll spend every spare minute from now until the statute of limitations runs out. Three years, Counselor. And if I can't prove perjury and falsifying evidence, at the very least, I'll prove unethical conduct and get you disbarred, guaranteed. Frankly, Stone, your threats don't impress me. When I establish brutality by that arresting officer, that case will be thrown out of court. The jury will be on my side. You can cop a play, find some loophole. You don't have to hang, Jim. It embarrasses me to have to go to court in my own defense. I've got straight-laced clients I can lose over this ridiculous incident. I told that kid, I warned him. But he went ahead and arrested me anyway. Well, I'm gonna hang him for his stupid gall. You're very big on promises, Stone. I'll give you mine. I will hang him. What does that do for you, huh? Makes me curious. Since uh, you're so big with x-rays and whirlpool baths to make you look honest, why keep this Tootsie around, right in the middle of a divorce? Uh, back off, Stone, or you'll get what I'm giving Briggs. Unless there's something that could destroy her value as a witness that you don't want us digging up. Get off my property. You're an intruder, Stone. Do you understand that? You're getting me wet. I could kill you, Stone, and get away with it. You know that. Now get off my property. Okay, put the call through right now. Mr. Gorman, take a look over here. Officer, keep your seats, gentlemen. Get off please. my boat. What is this, Leslie? Illegal trespass. Absolutely improper. I warned you, Stone. Hey, the fishing must have been good. I see you're flying the Marlin flag. Say. Hey, these are whoppers. Did uh, Mr. Gorman catch one of these? Don't answer him. Mr. Gorman, with his bad back he got from a brutal policeman. Steve. Did he uh, pull in such Steve, a big you go fish? ashore and you call the cops, you tell them there's a trespasser on board my boat. Save your dime. I've already called the squad cars. I'm not trespassing. I'm just enforcing the law. Law? Well, what law? Section 12, Article 3103 of the state code, the law against gambling. What do you mean, gambling? A card game with money on the table. <laughs> Officer, my name is Arthur Herrick. And I'm a partner in an investment concern, and I, this is very embarrassing. It's nothing compared to day after tomorrow. What's the day after tomorrow? Friday, sir. On Friday, they're going to have a police brutality hearing about uh, Mr. Gorman's bad back. If you think you're embarrassed now, wait until you get a subpoena and have to perjure yourself to protect him. All right, Stone, let's talk. Well, how do you like that? All right, Stone, this is your last chance. Those are important clients. Back off. Mr. Garman, you're under arrest. Let's go. You're going to have to drag me off. Me? I wouldn't touch you. I got two men for that, and they're going to handle you with kid gloves. Watch. Ah, oh, don't hit me! Oh, my back! Ah! Help! 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 Get her off! Help! Did you see that? Did you see that? He... He hit me. He knocked me overboard. I think he's trying to kill me. Help! Help! 
This morning I was profoundly shocked to be notified by Leslie Gorman Esquire that because of Detective Sergeant Stone, he now feels compelled to hire a bodyguard. Sam, a bodyguard. Mr. Gorman states that Stone, while on his boat, threatened him with physical harm unless he dropped brutality charges against Stone's partner. And then I suppose I pushed him into the water. Gorman concedes that there were no witnesses to the incident. Then how am I stymied? Mr. Gorman states this incident has placed him in such fear of his life that he requires a personal bodyguard. Sam, he's got it in writing in the DA's office that you placed him in fear of his life. Do you know what that brain is figuring out? Yeah, I guess I don't. Ah, oh, Sam, smarten up. You're losing. Gorman plays in a league we can't get into even with tickets. I don't want to lose you and Jim Briggs and get blamed for it. So stay away from Gorman. I don't like it, Jim. Hands off that guy. You'll only get burned worse. No hands, Dad. I just have to talk to him, that's all. Can I see you for a minute? If you don't get too close, you and your boys are getting me a little nervous. I heard. Look, Mr. Gorman, if I get fired from the force, OK, who am I? Maybe the force won't be losing much. That's close enough. Look, Sam Stone's a different story. He's been on the force 20 years, all good. That's too close. Keep him away from me, boys. You got permits for those guns? Tell your buddy Stone. I got a message for you. From Gorman? No, from me. He can kill you, Sam. <laughs> Who can't? Gorman can kill you legally. He's got goons with guns with permits. He's got it set up that you threaten him, Sam. Look, he practically told me that if you come near him when no one else is around, he can have you shot and get away with it. Practically told me the same thing. I made the mistake, not you. I'll pay for it tomorrow morning. And I'll write you a letter of appreciation afterwards. But I don't want you shot, okay? You know I'm off duty as of now. Meaning what? I don't have to spend my time with policemen. Matter Clay, just a name. That's all we had to go on, right? So I ran it through. And? No record. There's got to be something on that girl. Why? Why should a smart lawyer like Gorman keep her on ice? Even a dumb lawyer wouldn't let you talk to his witness before trial. You know, Dan, after all these years of nursing rookies, you still got a head. Yeah. Tomorrow, after the hearing, I'm going home and banging on the wall. Try to figure out what I did wrong. Whenever a kid gets in trouble, it's his old man's fault. You know that. I'm not interested in the problem of raising children. Where's Gorman? Going back to the boat. Girl's got to be on the boat. You're not going back there, Sam. Gorman alone with his bodyguards? If anybody goes, it should be me. You can do better? Well, maybe not, but he's my boy. Your boy? Big deal. He's my partner. <laughs> Miss Clay. You got a warrant? This slips private property. Who says she's in trouble? You'll be in trouble if you don't clear out of here, Roy. 
Look, Ma, no guns. Anyone shoots me, he's got some rough explaining to do. What's rough? Your Honor, he's a policeman. We assumed he had a gun. Would you uh, step aside, please? <laughs> Police brutality has crippled you, and all these people have just seen you beat my ears off. If there'll be a hearing on you later, I'm charging you with attempted forcible entry. You had no legal right on this dock. I had every legal right. I'm serving a subpoena. You didn't show that to me. I didn't have to show it to you. It's for her, Miss Clay, to appear tomorrow. Why, why, why would you want my witness? You're supposed to be brilliant. You figure it out. You mean you really didn't want her? Are you trying to tell me that, that you came here to get a beating? You came here to get a beating from me? Mr. Gorman, I never tell people what they already know. <laughs> Troubled you, gentlemen. I see the time has long passed, and the complaint has neither appeared nor sent in a request for a postponement. Therefore, I assume this case is dismissed. Jim, glad it worked out. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Captain. Yes? Well, about my clerical duty. Couldn't someone else do it just as well? What makes you think anyone ever did it worse? Well, happy days, huh? Thanks, Dad. Well, I congratulate him. He's just right back where he was before. That's more than Gorman can brag about. Now he's up for assault and bribery, and then disbarment. Okay, so uh, we all testify, and then Mr. Gorman will uh, make some brilliant move in court, and uh, we're back where we started. Except that I owe you a letter, Sam. A little different from the one I thought I'd be writing. Never mind the letter. Just remember, we don't ask for trouble. We don't? Okay, we don't. See that you don't. Know. 